a world probably a myself life and I wanna talk about my experience with using iOS and particularly iOS 16 beta my experience with it and after roughly about a month how do I feel about iOS now let's now let's take a step back I'm a heavy Android user. My current, my daily driver is the Pixel 6. Cool. But I also set up iOS devices um, for people. For different people. I have set it up on numerous occasions for different people. Uh, my daughter has an iPad. My brother has an iPhone. My sister has an iPhone. Um, he has an iPhone 13 Pro Max. My sister has an iPhone 10s, and I've set up, I've set up my sister phone. While my brother's in the states, so he did his setting up by himself. But other um, my friends, coworkers, and they come to me when they have issues. Hey, Bradley, this this isn't working properly. That isn't working properly. Can you help me? Um, can you set this up? I do it for them. No problem. So. This is, I'm not an iOS hater. I'm not an iPhone hater. It's just that my preferable OS is Android. But I said, let me take a step back. Let me go into iOS. And since I'm using Android 13, the beta, I might as well rock out the latest and greatest from and for iOS, which is iOS 16 beta. So, is it better than Android? No. Is Android better than iOS? No. It's not. None of them are. It's all up to the individual, the user. You like iOS. iOS has its strengths. iOS has its weaknesses. Same thing with Android. It has its strengths. It has its weaknesses. Okay? That's just how it is. So, what's my perspective on iOS? Can I, can I use it? Yes, I can use it as a daily driver. I can and I have used it. But will I put it over iOS, over Android? It depends. It really depends. It depends on the device. If, let's say, I wasn't using the Pixel, the latest and greatest from Google, I was using maybe uh, a less than stellar device and I could probably say well maybe but then I know well there are better Android devices so I still wouldn't put iOS over Android unless Apple comes out if a device comes out if everything Android can give me and we'll get into that later then I'll say yeah I can switch fully but, but for now Let's just stick to the purpose of this video and iOS. Now, there's a couple things what I like about iOS, right? For one, I like, I do I, I'm a, it's mixed on the home screen. It's kind of mixed for me. I like the fact that, yeah, okay, fine. The fact that, okay, we have some customizations okay we have some customizations here can do different things if i like i can set this up how i want change my clock font etc 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 great fantastic i kinda i kinda dig this that's cool but i also find it i don't find that this is all ios gives me in terms of customization what I also like is I'm not gonna I'm honest let me lower the brightness a bit here now this is something that gets me mad I just don't understand what is happening let me lower this for a while so um, what this I like I like the stack um, widgets I really like this this is something I, I don't mind seeing 
on Android in terms of the widget. Now, Android has plenty of widgets and iOS widgets are limited. But with the limitations, they do make the most of it. And this is kind of cool. I, I like this customization quite a bit. And the fact that I can always go in, I can edit, and I can add a different stack. This is this is kind of cool. I kind of I kind of like this. I'm I'm digging this part on iOS. Um, but what I find strange and I find it's kind of weird and it I, it's counterintuitive in my opinion. Yes, we have our gestures, but what I find let me show you. I need to show you guys okay so telegram let's go into telegram for both right so let's say I'm um, why can't I go back I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so we inside of um this up right here let me lower my brightness a little so it doesn't blow the camera too much okay so we here now as you can tell me into i'm in a chat but ios doesn't give me the option to go back for example on android i can go back just like this i can't <laughs> i can't go back I can also go back here as well if I go this, this opening I cannot do it I need to go up here to go back and it's in all the apps which I find is very very weird very strange and I find it it def this gesture should be system-wide if so it's about I mean here I can't go back even in the system, I can't go back. I have to go back into here. This, where's the one-handed use? Where is the, it's not, it's counterintuitive in my opinion for me. That's the one gripe I have with iOS. But apart from that, every app I use as my daily driver here, as my daily, I use hair and it works just as great this is just just there is just a few differences here and there like the layouts um sometimes there's the way the app is laid out for example i'll show you what i'm talking about and i really want to show it to you for example um this is just one example i'm not going to into too many right um if i tell you i lose i use nike run up quite a bit and in my opinion this i like this layout a little better i like the fact that everything is is hair is laid out right there although android has this hamburger menu fine that's the difference there but i like the fact that everything is there I can go this, I can switch, I can do this, I can do that. Everything is there. I wouldn't have, I don't necessarily have to. To me, this is like an extra, I don't know why Nike does this to me. <laughs> but this is like an extra step, in my opinion. It is kind of extra. Like, I have to, and like everything is just laid out for me right there. Now, that's just one example. The other apps, everything is basically the same. Discord, Pinterest, um, Twitter, everything basically the same. So that is not much of a different that will make me say, hey, iOS is better. Oh, Android is better. Nah. It's good. It's great. I like I like the features iOS gives. Um, the vibration is nice. The, the haptics, I should say, haptics are nice. And finally, using iOS 16, they finally have haptics on the keyboard. Now, I don't like Apple's keyboard that much. I prefer Gboard 100%. But I can get used to it. Another thing I I 
find is the mail app. Where's the delete? <laughs> um, somebody, let me let me get it because I'm I'm in here, right? And I want to get to delete. This is archive new folder. Go back. Even if I do this, that's a new message. But there is no delete button in the mail app. There's none. Why? Oh, I, I, maybe, maybe I missed something. Um, I don't know, but it's not there. And I find if I have to use the mail app, I'm tried using everything Apple apps. I try using the mail app, and if this is how it is, then I'm gonna just default default to Gmail. Just end it at, just leave it at that. Gmail is much better, right? But apart from that that's been cool i mean i've been having fun with it i been and this isn't device versus device if i have to compare devices i will compare the 13 pro max and this that's a much closer competition a much closer rival than this phone and that so but this was just about ios and i using it for his features, the, notifi the notifications. Let's look at the notification. I kind of like how this looks and the fact that you can go into the settings, right? And I can choose how I want my notifications to look. I like that, it gives it the option, right? But, and look at it, why? I still don't like this and this is the lock screen before correct me if I'm wrong I, I will double check if my brother's iPhone 13 Pro Max because he hasn't put the beta on yet but I will check it out um, this is basically the lock screen now I see people oh just swipe down and get to the lock screen yeah okay quick access to it fine but this is the no this is a notification shade. This is basically the lock screen I'm getting to. I don't know if that's how Apple intended it to be, or maybe that's a bug or something, but to me the old way, but if I'm on my home screen and I swipe down, I should be able to get to my notifications. This shouldn't be my notification my lock screen this shouldn't be it notification this shouldn't be it because if this is here i swipe down i can access fine now what if where are my notifications i gotta go down and do all that again you you you, you get what i'm saying right you get you get my point right this is kind of that's another thing I don't like. Maybe it will change um, by the time the release official release comes out in September. It might change by then, but right now, nah. That's that's the thing. That's the own. That's the next thing I find. I just like you know. Um, this needs to change. I I I, I don't know. Right. So that's that. So, and one last thing before I leave, before I close off about my time with iOS, face unlock. Face unlock is clutch and it works in the dark. In the, my dark room, lights off, it works. Ah, that is cool. That is clutch. That is nice. Yeah. But apart from that, my conclusion my conclusion with ios it's a good os i went into it if um if an open mind to really use it fully and see how it works and it works good i see why ios users iphone users like the iphone i see why i really see why i can see why but for me personally I'm still an Android user 
in and out. I can use iOS, I can, but it cannot replace. I do not see it replacing my Android device anytime soon. I really don't, unless I see Apple. Until Apple comes back, if an if 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 an iPhone that is groundbreaking in terms of design, in terms of cameras, in terms of feature set, in terms of customizations, in terms of all these things and they fix their notifications and they fix that then I can say oh yeah I can switch I can see myself switching but apart from that iOS is fun iOS is nice iOS is it's a great OS I like it but I don't love it so until next time folks Bradley for my cell life I'm out